Your Majesty, this is the SSS with a report on the Yuriki Interstellar Empire. This empire, well, they are your neighbors, you know it. They're a star empire with an aristocratic elite and a distinguished admiralty, so they're potentially very dangerous with their high ship fire raid. They're also xenophiles. Something very unusual. They have probably strange hybrids running around. They're also militarists, so these strange hybrids will try to run over us as spiritualists so they can understand what we do and that makes them even more dangerous they kind of don't like us they really hate us they like don't like our closed borders they don't like that we are a little bit cautious uh, with contacts with other empires it's crazy i mean they are shrewd because they are the shrew the planet from the planet of Shrunai, that is known for having a surface area of 93% water and mask, mask archipelagos that were once the fragmented nation states. One of these nations was Eureke, a hardy nation from a smaller island state, unrivaled masters of naval warfare. When the Eureke went to war, their ships moved as if guided by the navigator herself. Their grandest admirals picked and trained from the most elite noble island barons. After centuries of war and then of global politicking, politicking the nation of Eureke became an empire that united the islands on the Shrunai planet led by the House of Dury, chosen of the Navigator, first Admiral of Land and Sea, protector of the so-called faith they have. With Land and Sea under the control of the Eureki, the stars are what they desire now. They see themselves as the chosen of the Navigator, which is probably their deity or something. So it has to be said that they enjoy uh, the carnal pleasures, they're rapid breeders, they are also kind of quick, uh, or kind of better at getting to do something as their leaders are talented and they stick to their traditions a lot to their abominable traditions of course they don't like to move that much and they waste things which is another aspect why we shouldn't have a too close contact with them and rather stay to ourselves uh, their ruler the current empress jessa jury is warlike so we need to be very careful she's also a fertility preacher and has an eye for talent so a very dangerous combination of high pop relation growth warlikeness and it has to be said, they will have excellent leadership in their own abominable ways. Let's be careful, Nautiloids! Welcome back, my friend, to the realm of the Nautiloids, where we... <gasps> Gravitometric abnormalities. In studying the bizarre readings surrounding Rimok, a crew of the Naughty Armstrong discovered that the entire system's gravitronics are off the charts. Science officer Ningao suspects aliens. No, that the Rimok gateway is somehow interfering with our sensor data, otherwise responsible for the unaccounted for mass in the system. More detailed study of the gateway may yield more insight. Situation log updated. We must investigate, it's too dangerous not to. We have a scientist there, why don't you investigate? This thing first. Then you can go back to whatever it was. It's too dangerous not to look at this. These worlds here though. Uh, we've got an anomaly here. Small rectangular object on the surface of this planet is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Sensors are unable to determine its material composition. Let's research. I believe after this we could go to Rivac and claim that as well. It'll be interesting to observe these aliens, and it will be necessary. They nearly wiped each other out. It'll only be prudent to have a closer look at them. Special it's time for you to yet, yet to turn to the right path. <gasps> There's a dark flow. Examination of the Rimok Gateway. Do not proceed as anticipated with sensors registering gravitational influence orders of magnitude beyond expected values. Officer Ningao chased the source to the very center of the derelict space-time conduit. They found there appears to have changed them. For days following their return, Ningao spoke of massive indescribable structures of matter in the void of space far beyond any stars. Exerting an inexorable gravitational pull, Ningao claims our galaxy streams 
helplessly, inevitably towards them. It's Nautilon's call. The mission has left the team shaken, no less for the fact that shortly after the experience in the conduit, the abnormal readings suddenly stopped. <clears throat> Disconcerting. He's now paranoid. I think he was paranoid to begin with, so... He's even more paranoid now. We must investigate further. Would be foolish not to. Construction complete. Nice. Constructed something and it is complete now. As for our small deficits, we must. <gasps> Wow, it's step after step after step while conducting, and we're so afraid of aliens, and we get an alien mural. What horrors will this contain again? By conducting surface scans of Simtauri 1, science officer Sheldon and the crew of the naughty Archimedes discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Situation log updated. You must investigate instantly. Very important. Construction complete. Wait, 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 wait. New site, another new site, and a new contact. Where are these sites? A site too angled. But it's here. In the new contact of the Viraki Fellowship and here asteroid blaster is that a terraforming is that that's also in their system received a communique from a previously unknown space firing empire of dangerous aliens that call themselves the Viraki we Siraki Fellowship they claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on the communications of another empire we are in contact with we need to be more careful. Interesting. <gasps> well, they are peaceful traders, they say, and at least they know of the value of spiritualism and peace. So maybe these are what we can see as very platonic friends. I bring greetings from Oracle Sek Wabir, the undisputed ruler of the Viraki Fellowship, respect our borders and keep out of our affairs, and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your worlds. Well, new friends bring one closer to divinity. Maybe we can go for a non-aggression pact with you. But no. They hate us because we closed borders. But we cannot under no circumstance open borders to them. That is absolutely impossible. It would be unheard of. Research stations and the mining station. Oh, look, we're getting more civilian industries soon, soon, hopefully. Go look at the population. Yeah, I mean, we, we have now two people in the consumer goods section and here. Nothing much, nothing much. We can get the gene clinics here and we have that going. That is also okay. Here we go.
Construction complete. Nice. We have finished the construction queue. Everything is ready so far. And continuing our ways. <gasps> Something has happened on one of the archaeological sites we're currently excavating. In the memories of the Memorix, probably. And what is that? Unstable ruins. Our archaeologists working on memories of the Memorix 3 have reached a highly unstable section of the ruins. Supports have to be carefully added to the floors and ceilings before we can proceed. It will be difficult work, but finding an alternate route would delay the project. Safety first. Stabilize those ruins. We must... Yeah, safety first. That's us. Safety. They're closing the borders already. We'll no longer tolerate nautiloid intrusions. Mm -hmm. Well, they are far away for now. An encounter in Simtauri, the Upsilon Menace. Must investigate instantly. Where is that? That's so worrying, right? What's going on there? A natural wormhole. We have detected that what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of Polybon Kerr system. At the Vivisandia Star Conference. What is that? A rift in the very fabric of space-time has formed here, creating a wormhole that our science Drone speculate may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, it could, this could potentially allow ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in a matter of days. Unfortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through it would be ripped apart in seconds. It could somehow be stabilized, though. Would be a danger... Unheard of. Well, what are these guys? A military commissariat of dangerous plans, materialists and fanatic militarists we are listening. But we determine for ourselves what is truth and falsehood, right and wrong. We are right. You are remains to be seen. Have robots even. <coughs> They're opponents of the Yuriki. Where are they even? They are here. <gasps> here. Oh no. We must block that from their access. We cannot anymore. So close yet so far, thanks to the Thanks to the hyperlane system, that is not so dangerous still. <sighs> hmm. Must investigate further. What's going on here? Are they working in the? Yeah, they are working there. Special product complete. Nice. Science officer Sheldon has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Simtauri One. It is a memorial for an extinct alien race that once maintained a small interstellar empire in this region of the galaxy. They were apparently exterminated by the creators of the mural. A fact that they seem to regret. 
Given that the mural has been dated to be in excess of 300 million years old, it is likely that its creators are also extinct by now. Perhaps most interesting of all is the material that the mural was made of. Despite its age, it is in remarkably good condition. And this is very dangerous. Hope, hopefully we won't meet these crazy, crazy beings. Let's survey the system further. There's the rhizome of yellow, an ab abominable plant. Actually, we, we must probably go into this system and then the black hole. Then here. The other hand, that will also have been explored already, right? No, we must try this. Construction complete. Outer Shell Starbase finished its construction queue. Nice. How are we at minus 12? How is that even possible? Oh, the medical workers. Thankfully, our research is growing. Yeah, 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 we must look, we must investigate. There's our ship. Ah, that's why. Let's send it here. Byzantium. Let's colonize. Welcome home, Prime. doing anything here in Sismac. Definitely need energy, so let's build that. Then go for the energy we have there. Helven Warriors again. Would attempt to contact them. Let's see what they have to say. We are the Helven, and we are the favored servants of the She of the Void, the all seeing, ever knowing, and above all, vengeful supreme being that lords over space. Wrong believers. Let's end the transmission. Also far away. Not not far enough as far as we are concerned. And we gain more consumer goods. This is terrible. Oh, the population is growing soon. We must... We must get more consumer goods. System survey complete. Very nice, very neat. Oh, the raiders, the refugees. I don't know, let's just go f first this way.
and then we'll see. Construction complete. Starbase in Rivak, nice. Uh, first things first, build a mining station. This is terrible somehow. Construction complete. Need the trade to work. Let's see about that, right? Well, we've got one trade route. It's not that great, though. But we've got a trade hub. Maybe we should try to get one more. Maybe we should get another star base somewhere. Hmm. I mean, we have five open, so we should do that. Maybe we should go for this to, to upgrade the starport for getting more, more trade. Definitely allowed in the planets section. And then this would also be a great option to have there. Oh my goodness. The Vivisandias versus the Archangel efficiency project. Look at that. And we have enough unity to adopt a new thing. And we have appropriation. Land that is not being worked contributes nothing to our empire. So we have resettlement open. And we got planetary prospecting decision. Allows us to prospect for additional resource deposit once on our planets. We will unlock one ascension perk slot too. We have that now. Um, let's see, we can... How that works. Planetary prospecting. Adds a random planetary feature to the planet. Oh, nice. That's going to be very interesting. Once we have the money for it. And the Ascension perk... There's a lot. I need the mastery of nature. That seems so good, but we don't need outright. Transcendent learning. Great learning curve. One vision might be might be the way. Consecrated worlds, but that is only three. That is not enough. So we'll see about that in the future. In the next episode. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode. Have a great time until then. And happy gaming. This is Manuel Khan signing out. May Nautilon protect you. <laughs>